Um, the most memorable moment I've ever had with Kenzie is, um, I just came back from my dad's house and I missed Kenzie's birthday party because I was at my dad's house. So I wanted to celebrate with her. So I went over on her birthday and we were at her grandma's house at her pool. And then we had fun swimming around in the pool. We got to play with Cammy, and then told her there were sharks in the pool and stuff. And then we had dinner with Grady. And I got to meet him. We got to talk. And then after that, he left. And then we just relaxed. And that was pretty fun. Cause whenever I'm around you, I like feel relaxed. And I feel like I can tell you anything. And I feel like even if it's in the most boringest moment, you can make it lit or fun. And I just remember that was like, it was a really fun night and we got to do really fun stuff together. My favorite memory. My favorite memory is when your mom took us out to Taco Bell for dinner after she, after she picked us up from my house and we are, I was in the back seat with Cammy, and you were up front listening to music with your mom. Cake by the Ocean came on. We just got done at Taco Bell. We're heading back to your place. And Cake by the Ocean came on. So you stood up in the middle of her, in the middle of the street while she was driving. And you just started dancing. And she stomped on the brakes and he went flying forward. And you were so mad that night since it happened. The kind of weird to I'll just pick one. And she stayed the night at my house. That one's pretty memorable. Um, it was that one time in art and we were like chewing paper and it was so funny because we got yelled at and it was just, she's so funny. Uh, we went over to Alex's house and we played basketball and uh, we played some volleyball. And we were um, dancing to Juju on that beat <laughs> and being really weird in a church. It was really funny and we got married. Um, probably when we went to the haunted forest with Bird and Raina. Oh, okay, my favorite memory is when we go to Miss in third grade. We go to Miss Lundy's room to read, and we'd always sit by each other. And there was always this pillow behind her, like little seat, and we'd always fight over it. And it was so funny. Um, uh, there's a lot, but last week when we went to the haunted hotel, it was pretty fun. What is the most beautiful thing about her? Her smile. I love her smile. What is it? She's strong. What's something she does that makes you happy? She always laughs. She always smiles. She tells you you love me. Okay. Is there any advice you have for her or something you want to tell her? Just stay strong because I know you can get through this. And I love you. She's amazing. What do you want to tell her? Stay strong and I'm always here for you. I love you very much and I'm always going to be here for you like it can be like four in the morning if you need me be right there because I always have my phone on me so <laughs> I'm always going to be there for you I love you I've never gone through what you're going through but just know that so many people are here for you like so many people and your mom she loved you so much I never met her and I don't know her that well, but she, she raised an amazing girl, so she must have been pretty incredible. You just, I love you so much, okay? Just stay strong, because we're all here for you. Um, stay strong, that's um, like the only advice I can give you. <laughs> um, Kenzie, stay strong, and I love you, and I'm there whenever you need me, because I'm a good friend, I like these other people. Um, that I hope she can stay positive, and that all of us will be there for her never gone through what she's been through. Still don't understand how she goes through things like this and still has a smile on her face. And that's what I love about her because even in the worst times she can be positive and sweet. Um I just wanna tell her I love you very much and I'm here for you. And um I hope you overcome this and I hope you hope you get to talk to your dad and I hope you can still talk and I also hope that you overcome the stronger and I 
hope you know that your mom loves you very, very much. And, yeah, I love you. Don't oh, worry. Um, I love you, Kenzie. Just stay strong. You're doing, like, so well right now. I would not be doing as well as you are. Just know I'll always be there, and a lot of friends will always be there. We all love you. Um, something I want to tell her is that she should stay strong, and, um, even though that uh, she lost one, she has everyone else and her friends and family to help her out with this problem. And I'll um, just to stay strong. Um, if you ever need me, I'm always going to be there, and my mom will be there too because she can help you if you need. And you can come over to my house, and we can have sleepovers. <laughs> it's two months and forever. I'm always here. I love you. <laughs> when I was in my old room in room 162, Kenzie and I didn't know who she was. She hadn't been in any of my classes before. She would have been a seventh grader last year. And I had this sweet little girl, blonde haired, blue eyed little girl, coming in with a couple other little seventh graders last year. And every day, every morning, she would give me a hug and say, I love you, Mrs. Rotruck. And I, I was so touched by that because I really had never had this girl in my class. So I really didn't know who Kenzie was, but I was touched by her kindness and her warmth that she showed me. And um, she did this for quite frequently. This is a little girl that didn't know me as a person and never had me as a teacher. So I was very, very touched by her warmth and kindness. And this year, when I looked out to see who my eighth grade students would be in my high school Spanish class, there sat Kenzie Berry. And I thought, oh, how lucky I am to have this very sweet girl in my class. I was very touched by it. And I'd also like to say to Kenzie, that if I have any advice that I, that I would like to give you is that the same advice that I used with my own father, whom I was very, very close to. And that advice is when you lose someone that you love with all your heart and soul, the best way of overcoming it is to live the best life you can for the person that you've lost. So my advice, Kinsey, is to be the best person that you can for your mom. Get, achieve, have high dreams, and always try to do your absolute very best. Always keep your mother in mind that you can take care of yourself, that you're going to be a fighter, that you're going to reach for the stars and make your dreams come true. And I know that from my own experience that when you use a loved when you lose a loved one, they're always, always with us.